In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to edit our movie shots into a completed animation using Adobe Premiere Elements. Double click the icon to launch the software. Then click on New Project. Then name your project and click OK. This will launch the Adobe Premiere Elements interface. On the left hand side you will see a viewer screen which shows you what is happening in the timeline. Down at the bottom there is a playhead which you can use to scrub through your footage. On the right hand side is where the different media elements are stored. There is an edit tab which lets you choose different effects and filters, transitions and titles and the share tab is for exporting media from Premiere Elements. Down at the bottom is the timeline where you can drop your media to put your shots in order along with transitions and titles. To bring your shots into Premiere Elements, go to the Get Media button under the Organize tab, then choose Files and Folders. Then search for where you saved all your AVI shots as talked about in the previous section. Select the first one, hold down Shift and click the last one and then choose Open. This will import all the shots into Adobe Premiere Elements. You can arrange them in order of newest or oldest shots. And you can hide or show the details for each shot in the viewer. To start compiling your animation, choose the first shot and drag it into the timeline. You will notice at the top you can move the playhead along the clip in the timeline to see it play. You can edit the length of your shot by dragging the edit handle at the end and at the start of the clip to shorten or lengthen it. You can press the space bar to play through the entire clip. Do this with all the other shots in your animation to build up the timeline. Once you have all the clips in the timeline, you can use the zoom bar to zoom in or out of the timeline under the viewer. Then use the playhead to scrub through your animation to make sure that all the shots are in the correct sequence. To add an effect to a shot, choose the Edit tab and then go to the Effects icon. This will display effects which you can drag and drop onto the selected clip. However, nothing will happen visually. You need to go to the Edit Effects button. This will show the controls for the effect which you have applied to the clip. In this case, Brightness and Contrast. Move the slider to the desired effect. Once you are happy with your selection, click Done. To add titles to your animation, go to the Edit tab and then the Titles icon. This will show a selection of different titles which you can choose to add to your animation. Click and drag the title into your timeline. Then double click on the text to highlight the text so that you can edit it.
Once you have finished typing the text, choose the selection tool and you can move the text around the window. To the right hand side you can choose different styles and colours of fonts. You can also increase the font size. If you don't like the background which has been imported with your titles, simply click on it and then press delete on your keyboard. You can rotate the text to correct it. To add a transition between your shots, go to the Edit tab and then select Transitions. This will display a range of different transitions which you can use to go between the shots in your animation. For example, choose Cross Dissolve and drag it into the timeline between your shots. Then use the playhead to scrub between the shots and see if this is the sort of transition that you wish to use. If it isn't, simply select the transition in the timeline and press delete. There are lots of other transitions available and it's worth having a play with them to see what they all do. These are just a few basic editing techniques in Premiere Elements. As always it is worth experimenting with all the other tools available within this software when editing your final animation.